Hey everybody, Lucas here, back with another video. This is going to be my official intro from now, well, at least, at least at the time of filming this video. We have the Resistance Action Fighter from Lego Star Wars. Sorry about the mess because um, we're in the middle of building some Legos and Andy here is building her own. So uh, as you can see I have the Tide Fighter in the background so I'm going to review that set after this set. I haven't done that many Lego videos in a while because I've been doing vlogs but either way let us, let us take a look at those new figures. I believe it also came with a Flame Trooper but I don't know where the Flame Trooper is. I'll try to find it but if I won't I'll probably put a photo right up there. But uh, yeah, I think the when I when I got this set, um, I got it used. So yeah, sorry about the wrong minifigure, which is not one. But either way, let's take a look at those figures. So the first minifigure up here, we have Poe Dameron, which he is in his Resistance um, pilot outfit. Um, which yeah, he this is actually the wrong version, but I'll just take a look at him anyway. There's a pretty cool face, which is no new faces for him, which is kind of sad. And this really cool helmet, which is a new mold, um, which is also used with another figure in this set. Um, actually, no, not in this set. Um, it's actually from another set, which I believe is Poe's Action Fighter. You know, this is Poe's Action Fighter. Um, but this helmet is using another version of Poe's Action Fighter. And in the Micro Fighter as well. And we also have his Pen Pal BB-8. Um, if you know what Pen Pal is. But either way, here he is. He's pretty cute. Um, I know I zoomed in a little bit. Um, but you can see all the little cute detailings on him. He's just a pretty adorable figure. But he is pretty common. But it's still a nice figure to get. So finally we have Lord Santeca. Which he has a pretty older looking face. Um, has some pretty cool detailings on there. Um, pretty hairy looking face. And an alternate face in the back. Where he has him smiling on there. And this one has a worried because that's when he's about to die. So here's the build of the set, which is the X-Wing. Um, let's first take a look at it from the front, where it just has some a bit of nose detailing on it, which is pretty cool. Um, this thing actually comes with spring-loaded shooters, but I didn't want to put it. Um, but let's first start off with the cockpit. So the cockpit simply opens like this. And inside we have a fire extinguisher. We have fire extinguisher and some control areas. I'm gonna set aside the figures. So you can put it on the side, you can kinda see the control on there. Put it right there. And then there's a seat for a minifigure. So you can put in your Poe Dameron minifigure or any minifigure if you had a desire to. Just sit him on the chair and it fits really well. You can close up the cockpit. And the cockpit itself is a new design which was introduced to the X-Wing, to the Force Awakens wave, and is also used in, um, in a, in a Ewing set from, uh, Rogue One, but it isn't this traditional color where it's transparent, instead of the other one in the Ewing's white. Um, I really like this new design, I'm glad they used it. And here on the back is actually a play feature right here, but first there's a space to put BB-8, where he just goes on a little jumper, and then there's some stud shooters on the side right there. And on the back of the X-Wing, there's actually a little compartment right up here, where you open it up, and then you have space for, I guess, a little generator, and it just goes inside that back area right here. You can see the engine designs, which are pretty cool, and you notice, why is there rubber bands? Well, it's actually a play feature for this gear. So where you lift it up, and then you'll be able to lock your s foils into attack position and then you can also take out the landing gear up here by putting it like that and then there you go you got the x-wing itself i know it's a pretty quick video but i'll probably show you all the details there and you also have a landing gear up here at the bottom and you can easily just close it up by just doing this the play feature just works in a rubber band which there's two and then inside of that um, area in here is actually just a little space for BB-8 and a couple controls up there. And you have some engine designs right up there too. And that is it for today guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. So what do I think of this set overall? It's a really cool set. Um, the minifigures are pretty cool. Just wish they had more interesting minifigures besides Lars Santeca. 
The set is great. Um, I like I like I like these X-wing sets. Um, the best part, obviously, is the build itself because I love Lego X-wings and this cockpit's really nice. Has a really nice shape to it. And overall, I'll rate this at an A+. So if you want to see more LEGO Star Wars videos, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends or your family, anyone you want to share it to. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.